Hey guys, welcome back. Better late than never, but I have a little review video to put together for you guys on the latest flavors from Keto Chow from their core line. Here we go. So, true story, uh, Keto Chow has been wonderful to me <laughs> over the course of the last several months. They've had many different opportunities where they've sent me some new products to try out, and I've tried really, really hard to always uh, be able to relay everything to you guys anytime that I tried those new products. Now, most recently, they launched a couple of new flavors for their core line. So the core line is a dairy-free version of Keto Chow that is available. It uses beef protein as opposed to the whey and casein protein that they use in the traditional Keto Chow products. The latest flavors that they sent me to try, and these actually were not only new flavors for Keto Chow Core, but for me, they were the first of the core varieties that I could try. So in a way, I was kind of reviewing both the flavors as well as trying out the core product to begin with. So that said, the two flavors that they sent me to try that are their new flavors are strawberry cream and vanilla cream. Additionally, they sent me a regular chocolate Keto Chow Core flavor packet to try as well, just to kind of have a comparison of all of those. Uh, I have since tried all of them. Each one came in a stevia sweetened version as well as an unsweetened version. So basically with these, what we're looking at is an alternative to a dairy protein and with having both a sweetened version and unsweetened version it gives you a little bit more options and opens up some potential for people that might have some dietary restrictions as far as sweeteners go so that said with each of these I tried them uh, I tried the stevia sweetened version that keto chow sent me then I tried the unsweetened version of each one alone by itself without adding any additional sweetener and then I also tried them with adding adding a sweetener of my choice uh, so that way I was able to kind of really get an idea of the options and potential with each of them I also did only try them as a shake I didn't do any kind of um, recipe anything with them typically I will try them in a creamy uh, as an ice cream option but I did not try any of them in that way. First and foremost, the way that I prepared each of these shakes is how I always prepare every single Keto Chow shake. In doing that, I do one tablespoon of melted coconut oil as my fat of choice when I make it, and then I do two cups of warm water. Um, basically, once I have the melted coconut oil and the packet and the warm water, I'm able to mix everything up in my shaker bottle, and then I refrigerate it overnight. Keto Chow recommends at least 30 minutes. Personally, I found that letting them rest overnight uh, tends to help everything incorporate a little bit better and it gets down to a nice, good, drinkable temperature. So all of them were prepared in exactly the same way. So the overall consensus um, for all three of the flavors, I, I have a couple of things to say. First of all, uh, the texture of the core flavors compared to the traditional Keto Chow flavors, they are a little bit thinner. So even being mixed and made in exactly the same manner, the, the actual texture of them, they were much less of a like milkshakey type protein shake. They were a lot thinner, a little bit more watery. As a result, I did not find them to be as filling. Uh, they, they didn't to me come across as much of a meal replacement just because they didn't have the mouth feel of something that was a little bit more substantial. However, <laughs> I think that the flavor and the smell was spot on. Surprisingly, there is no flavor in the beef protein. So I feel like you really are ultimately only getting the flavor that Keto Chow has added to it. 
Um, so it is a little bit more of a blank canvas with flavor as opposed to pinpointing maybe some of those other flavors behind the actual flavor of the shake, if that makes sense. So that's a couple of things, like both good and bad. You know, you've got a thinner protein shake. Um, the flavor it really was solid on all of them as far as being a flavor consistent with what they advertise it as. So the strawberry cream definitely tasted like a, to me, the flavor was like Burger King strawberry milkshake. The vanilla cream was very custardy, um, made me think of if you ever have been a carb addict, one of the like custard filled donuts or something like that, that like pudding kind of custard type flavor. Uh, the chocolate was just a good old fashioned like chocolate milk is what it tasted like to me. So here's where we get nitty gritty. All right. I love the unsweetened option. All flavors that I tried having an unsweetened option. Okay. Forgive me for the plane going over, but I'm going to proceed. Uh, so I, I will specifically address the two new flavors, the vanilla cream and the strawberry cream, but the stevia sweetened versions were super tasty. I like that they chose a natural sweetener for those because stevia is one of those that a lot of people are uh, much more willing to try as opposed to you know some of the other things like Splenda, Sucralose, Aspartame, Erythritol, those types of things. Uh, so being stevia sweetened, I think that that's awesome. I did find them to be a little too sweet for my personal taste, and I found them to be sweeter than the regular Keto Child versions of the same flavors. Um, so for me personally, like I think since I don't have any kind of dairy issue, I would go for the regular version over the core, just strictly based on the level of sweetness. I do think that they were a little too sweet for my personal taste. But that said, that made the unsweetened versions amazeballs. Okay, amaze balls. Because first of all, you have this like really crisp and clean and upfront flavor without any sweetness whatsoever. Initial taste test, I was like, okay, it's a struggle not to go ahead and just finish this unsweetened. Because having basically like a nice milkshake that was just vanilla flavored or just strawberry flavored without a whole bunch of sweetness attached to it was really, really nice. The, bo both of those were amazing flavors without having to add any kind of sweetener whatsoever. So particularly if you're someone that's trying to avoid sweeteners, I think it's a great option. You get that natural little kind of sweet flavor from a strawberry type flavor or from a vanilla type flavor, but without actually having sweetener in there. I think that that might be something really good for people that might be triggered by sweet tastes to continue eating sweet things. So first and foremost, try it without adding any sweetener first because you may be pleasantly surprised. They are tasty. Secondly, when I decided to add sweetener, I used what I use in pretty much everything, which is Jordan's Skinny Syrup. Granted, that does add a layer of flavor depending on which one you choose. Um, the Jordan Skinny Syrups are sweetened with sucralose. I personally have tested sucralose a few times um, as far as blood glucose and ketones and things. You know, you do you, you pick your sweetener. But that's the one that I chose to use because it's one that I tolerate really, really well and I prefer the flavor of. So in order to do this experiment, I did this with a half of a keto chow the way that I prepare it. So since I do mine with two cups of water, this was essentially like one cup of keto chow and half the packet. Um, and so that's a, a much smaller amount that I was using to sweeten it. So in order to sweeten it, I used two pumps, uh, which is about seven milliliters of skinny syrup um, it, as far as adding that. So maybe I guess that makes that like a half a tablespoon is what I use to sweeten that amount. Um, I used a regular, just traditional vanilla flavor, so I didn't add any crazy flavors except for just that little touch of vanilla that comes with the sweetness. Um, with that, it was just a little uh, of sweetness. Um, certainly, you know, you can gauge it and make it what you like, but adding just that 
like baby touch of sweetness to both of them and it was like knock your socks off DC. I love the adaptability of having those unsweetened ones where you can either add a powdered or liquid sweetener of your choice, uh, whatever it is that you found that you tolerate the best and that you can measure and use the amount of that sweetener that works best for you in order to suit your taste. That, brilliant. I had to kind of pause because the, it's trash day. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like loud truck and beeping happening. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of uh, give an overall uh, initial assessment of everything, uh, having had all the flavors. That said, my video footage of trying them is all... I have one that was salvageable, um, one didn't have sound, one, it was like overwhelmingly noisy and so you couldn't hear me. It was just a mess. So I have one and it is for the regular sweetened strawberry cream core flavor. So I'm going to have that right after this so that you guys can check that out just as far as seeing my first impression of it when I had it. But I wanted to go ahead and just kind of compile my overall perspective um, as far as the product goes. The price difference between core and regular keto chow products is pretty negligible um, and overall when you're I've had people in the past comment that it's too expensive but I really want you to consider something here you're looking at about five bucks for a meal and not everybody chooses to do shakes and things like that as a meal replacement I like to have them on hand as like a in case of emergency thing kind of at the start of the week I'll make a couple and stick them in the fridge and that way if I don't have time to make a lunch or something I can grab it and throw it in my bag and take it to work with me it's not all the time for me but it is something that I like to have as a tool to implement here and there um, thinking of it financially it's like five bucks is pretty cheap for lunch in the grand scheme of things um, it's also something that I have considered and worked with my dad, talked to him about as far as maybe using it once my mom starts to have a little more difficulty with chewing and everything. It might be a really good meal replacement option for her as well since her chewing and swallowing ability is getting a little tougher with, uh, with her current medical situation. So I think it's a good option for a lot of people. If shakes aren't your thing, then I don't honestly know why you're watching this video, frankly unless you just, you know, I don't know. I don't know why you would, but either way, here's the thing. It's a great option. They're super cool people. And I love to support super cool people that are doing super cool things. So that said, if you have a dairy intolerance, I would definitely recommend checking out the core products. Uh, the three flavors that I tried were all super delicious, but especially that vanilla cream. I think that of all of the keto chow flavors that I have tried, both regular and core, my favorite is still Snickerdoodle, hands down. It's like the best thing ever. Um, but that the vanilla cream unsweetened core is amazing. Um, and I, I think that that is something that uh, if, if my good friends at Keto Chow are watching, I think it would be a really cool option to have in the regular way variety as well to have a couple unsweetened versions maybe of like the, the main flavors like the chocolate vanilla strawberry I think that that would be a really cool option for some of us that don't like to have really sweet shakes I think it would be cool um, but anyway I've rambled like a whole lot um, but it's something you know these are my friends and I'm excited about it and I want to show them the support um, I'm a little late. I think everybody else uh, talked about these a couple weeks ago when they first came out and, you know, life's been cray cray. So this is, this is what I'm able to get this up for you guys. Um, but anyway, I am going to go ahead and show real quick before my clip of my tasting the, the strawberry cream stevia sweetened version of the core flavor, I'm going to throw up um, the front and back of the packet so you can kind of see what the ingredients and the macros and everything look like. Um, again, you can prepare these in a lot of different ways. You can skip adding fat altogether. I've done it. I don't really recommend it, but you can do that uh, just with warm water or milk or coffee or whatever. Um, or you can choose to add 
a fat. I like to do refined coconut oil because it doesn't really lend any flavor. It just adds the fat and that way I'm enjoying the flavor of keto chow. So I've tried it with butter and heavy cream and things like that too, but coconut oil and warm water is my fave. So that said, I'll show you the packages and then stay tuned for the little clip if you want to see my initial taste test of that stevia sweet and strawberry cream. All right, see you later. I am trying a new keto chow today. So this one specifically is part of the core line, which is entirely dairy-free. It is sweetened with stevia, and they use a beef protein instead of using whey protein for this. So it is something that's a little bit more friendly for anybody that might have a sensitivity to the whey or casein. Um, so what I have noticed, because I've tried two flavors, both of which I'm going to review in this video, um, is that the color is a little strange. So for instance, this is the strawberry cream flavor, but as you can see, it's kind of like a peachy golden color. Um, so that's the only thing I've noticed color wise. Um, I have noticed though that the smell when you open up the packet uh, is actually a little bit more pleasant than the whey versions of the same flavor. So in that regard, I'm kind of impressed. So what I have here, this is the strawberry cream core flavor. I have prepared this the way that I always prepare my keto chow, which is with one tablespoon of melted coconut oil and then two cups of warm water. After I get everything mixed together really well, I put it into the refrigerator and let it sit overnight to fully cool. So that's where we are now. Um, I will say I was a little nervous when I put it in the fridge last night. It did not seem to dissolve well. Um, <clears throat> however, this morning, this afternoon, it is completely dissolved. I don't see any chunks or anything um, that seem to not have broken down into the liquid. I'm going to pause because there's someone with a noisy cart. Hold on. All right. The cart that was very noisy outside my door has left. I am on my lunch break, so <laughs> this is the perfect time to try this. Um, I actually am having this in conjunction with a kind of almost like protein sparing kind of lunch meal that I had today. So my fat that I'm having in this meal is coming from the coconut oil in my keto chow. But we are gonna do kind of a flavor and texture taste test on this. So again, strawberries and cream, and this is with coconut oil and water. I'm gonna give it another really good shake before I try it. And I just have a straw, because I prefer drinking these with a straw. It smells really good. It kind of smells like something from childhood. This one doesn't smell as much like the uh, strawberry Nesquik as the regular strawberries and cream does, but it does smell good. It smells actually a little bit more fresh strawberry. All right, let's give her a try. I mean, the flavor is really good. The texture is really good as well. I will say it doesn't seem quite as thick as the regular one, but it is still quite creamy. Um, but it doesn't seem as, as milky creamy, which obviously would make sense. Um, but it is still a little bit thicker. The te I don't have any like chunks or pieces that feel like they are not dissolved. So there's there's no like grittiness or anything to it. And this is um, this and another flavor are the only two core flavors that I have tried so far. Um, but it's tasty. It's not overly sweetened, um, so that's really nice. I don't. Based on the flavor and on the texture, I don't know how well this would do as a um, as a creamy in the Ninja Creamy as far as doing it like an ice cream. I think I will avoid that. I think that the whey and casein uh, combo gives a little bit better texture 
that would be more appropriate for the creamy where this just I think it would end up kind of icy um, just based on the texture but the flavor is really good um, overall and you know how like all whey proteins have kind of the same background flavor to them that's definitely missing from this um, so in a way <laughs> that's actually really pleasant um, <laughs> But the flavor is really good. It's not overpowering strawberry. And see, now it's kind of starting to taste more like that Nesquik kind of flavor. So, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Um, and the price for the core is, you know, right around the same as the traditional. So, if you're looking for one um, that does not have the whey encasing in it, that is a fully dairy-free option, I would definitely give them a try. Um, this one being one of their newest flavors that they've added to that line, the strawberries and cream, I think it's an awesome choice.